Welcome back. We're here at the lovely Lionbrook Condominium Community in New London, New Hampshire. And joining me now is Donald Cox. He's conductor with the Kearsarge Chorale. We're going to talk a lot about the upcoming concert, Messiah. Thanks Hello. for joining us. So glad us. to be here. Oh, thanks. well, thanks so much. Just Good tell us a little bit about the, what the chorale is before we start talking about the concert. Well, it's a semi-professional people because a lot mm -hmm. of them are, have a lot of, lot of experience and yes. are fine singers. And it's anywhere between 60 to 80 people, depending on the time of the year, because sometimes uh, winter people leave. But uh -huh. uh, it's a very good group. They, we rehearse on Monday nights. Uh, six to seven is section rehearsal, and seven to nine is the regular choir. So we are able to do some really wonderful work, not only uh, solo work and un unaccompanied work, mm -hmm. uh, also choral work with orchestras and, and piano and other things like that. So that's really what we're doing this time with a full orchestra with Messiah. Full orchestra? Mm -hmm. now full orchestra, yeah, Baroque that. orchestra. Oh my Baroque goodness. Baroque orchestra with the harpsichord. Wonderful. A what? real harpsichord. Where do you yeah. find these people? Oh, well, I guess like you, when you're out and about and you meet good people and make friends with them, yeah. it's fun to work with your friends. Mm -hmm. So I would call people for advice and then I would find out what they're doing. And invariably, they're the ones that support me with the finest advice. And if I'm mm -hmm. smart enough to take it, <laughs> yeah. it works really well. So I have a wonderful man, a wonderful friend who is an incredible um, bassoon player mm -hmm. and works all over the place, plays show after show in Boston. He's really busy. And I asked him, would he like to be the orchestra manager? He said, you got it. So he's gotten nice. everything together for me. So he knows all these people because he plays in the pit and the orchestra with I every see. one of them. Wow, that's great. Mm -hmm. And then let's, so let's talk a lot about the Messiah concert yes. because that's coming up in mm -hmm. November. Yeah. It's going to be at Our Lady of Fatima Church. Our Lady of Fatima Church. Church, mm -hmm. yes, with and, everything. And what are the dates? The dates are November 18 mm -hmm. and November 19. That's a Saturday and Sunday. November 18th, it's at 7.30. Yeah. And November 19th, it's 3 o'clock Sunday afternoon. Nice, perfect. And, you know, family may be rolling into town at that point mm -hmm. for for the holiday of Thanksgiving. So that yes. would, might be a nice place to start off your vacation yeah, with them. We'd yeah, we'd love to have them. Yeah. We will be selling tickets because the house is limited. So we y can't yes. break fire laws. Mm -hmm. So we can only sell three. 300 seats per show. Okay. So once we reach that, that'll be it. But if they get the ticket, they're welcome. They'd love to have them. That's great. Let's talk about the program because you've got some pretty nice soloists coming in. Yes, for we this. do. One, the first soloist is the soprano soloist, and mm -hmm. uh, she is a young lady who was born here in Springfield, mm -hmm. New Hampshire. So yep. she went to school in, in New London. She went to school at, at Kearsarge Regional High School. Grew up with my kids. Wonderful young woman. She and her husband now live in Pittsburgh, and her voice is so spectacular that she's one of the busiest opera singers in that area. Yeah. And of course, I know her, and so when it was a chance to have her sing here, we got her here. The Kearsarge, the chorale has sung with her before, and it was a marvelous success. Really kind of a step up. So she'll be here singing soprano soloist, that's uh, Anastasia Robinson. Mm -hmm. uh, Fran Stephen Putnam, people might know, she and her husband Jerry live in the area. Yes. She's actually from the Connecticut area, where she was very much involved with opera, especially in the New York and Connecticut area. And then they moved up, well, she moved up here when she married Jerry, and he is the proprietor of uh, Cedar House Sound and he, Mastering. Yes, so he right, makes recordings Sutton. for international mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And marvelous, marvelous alto and contralto. She'll be there, will be doing that. The tenor is Brendan Buckley, a young man who uh, is very busy in the Boston area and Connecticut area, especially up here. And he teaches, actually, uh, as the visiting professor at Plymouth State University mm -hmm. and also works in Boston as the resident art, uh, voice teacher with the Boston Lyric Opera. Wow. So he's doing very well. And Mark Cleveland is a stalwart, wonderful, solid bass. He's been here for a long time. He and his wife li actually live in Nashua. He's probably the most sought-after bass in Boston. Wow. And does fabulous work. Smart, good guy, beautiful voice. So we've got four s super soloists. I'll say. So the chorale is going to step up to four of the best. <laughs> yes, that's great. Yeah. That's amazing to have that all here, right, yes. in a couple weeks. Right. So we've got to get tickets because there's limited seating. What's the best way to get a ticket? Well, let's see. That's a good idea. You can uh, go online, and I know the information's there. Mm -hmm. 
the corral members will be having tickets to sell shortly. Wonderful. I think they're ready. Okay. And they should be out. So you might, if you know a person in the corral, check with them. Yeah. Or go online and double check. I know you can right. get tickets online at oh, the perfect. website. Yeah, so no, we works. have the website right up on the screen. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Well, wonderful. Thanks for bringing us great music here. Oh, you're welcome. And thank you for what you do. You really put together a, a, a wonderful kind of thread into the community that kind of holds us all together. Thanks. And I hope you know how much we appreciate you and the fine work that the cameraman who can't be seen right now <laughs> does you. with the lighting and the sound and the preparation. Well, thank you very, very much. We can't really, there's no way except thank you. We have a lot to show off here, so very pleased Good. and honored to do it. Thank you. Thanks again, Don. You're right.